So this is section 6.5. It says on the top of your sheet, chapter 6, we're in section 6.5, and we're graphing linear inequalities. And it gives some, some instructions there. It says step one on the very top. And that's basically what I'm going to write down here uh, uh, on the board. But uh, I might, I'm going to add a little bit of kind of a little bit of detail there. Let me grab this. All right, Miss Lindgren. Hayden is the only one that's, that's here oh, today. The others hi. must have been. Too bad. I mean, I can get it over. Yeah. Okay. Miss Lindgren will take you somewhere okay. to, a, to a different room. Something like that. You you missed one a, a good math joke, my friend, right? Ooh, math jokes are good. You you probably would like this one. Do you know why the why one fifth went for a massage? Because it was two tenths. Because two tenths. Oh. Oh, that one's at a family table tonight, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be using that. Oh, that's a Thanksgiving joke. Yeah, you could tell that at Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> And you, you all understand my shirt, right? Yeah. Pump, pumpkin circumference divided by pumpkin diameter is pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, but we should, oh God, we should do that and then we should buy those shirts as like a fun idea. Oh, that would be fun, yeah. All right, so a linear inequality is like a linear equation, but instead of an equation, we have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So an example of a linear inequality would be something like y is less than x plus 12. So that's an example of a linear inequality. Now, you might get questions that ask you about a solution. So that you could write this in the space below the little text at the top of your page. A solution. is an ordered pair x, y that makes it true. So in other words, it works in the inequality. So for example, you might, a, a, a question might say, is negative 5, 2 a solution? to this inequality. Well, we plug that in. What this is asking us is, is is negative 5 less than, whoops, sorry, the other way around, is 2 less than Negative 5 plus 12. I plugged in 2 for y and negative 5 for x. Yes? It, this is asking, is this a solution to this inequality? So I'm just plugging in x and y into this inequality. This is, this is y. Whoops, y. And this is x. Well, negative 2 plus 12 is 7. So this is saying is 2 less than 7. Is that true? Yes. Yes? Yes. So that is a solution. If we tried this out and it did not work, then that would not be a solution. So a solution means does it work in the inequality? Now what we're going to do to graph these, we're going to gra today we're going to concentrate on graphing these inequalities. So to, so to graph the inequality, and that's what the little paragraph up at the very top of your page describes, 
to graph. We want to make sure that we always have y on the left side. So we want to get y by itself on the left. So just like we've done with equations, we want to get it in y equals mx plus b form. But this, this time, we're going to have an inequality. And then we graph like we would graph, exactly like we'd graph a line. So we start at the y-intercept. We go from the slope to find our new points. We graph it exactly like we graph a line, except we use a dotted line if we have less than or greater than. And we use a solid line for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. But we're going to add one more step. Because we're talking about an inequality, we're talking about all the things that are greater than something or all the things that are less than something. We're going to shade part of our graph. We're going to shade above the line. For greater than or greater than or equal to. And we shade below for less than or less than or equal to. So we get y by itself, just like we've done when we talked about inequalities before. And I'm going to give us a reminder. When we get y by itself with an inequality, if we multiply or divide by a negative number, what happens to the arrow? It switches. it switches. So we have to remember that about inequality. So we get y by itself, and then we graph it like we'd graph a line. We use a dotted line, less than, greater than, just like we use an open circle for less than or greater than when we were just graphing inequalities on the number line. We use a solid line. We have less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, just like we used a closed dot when we were graphing on the number line. And then the shading is like how we drew the arrows on the number line. We drew an arrow on the number line one way or the other way. The shading is like an arrow, but we're in two dimensions instead of one dimension. All right, so let's look at an example. And this is on your sheet there. Oh, let me grab a picture there. There's the first problem. Um, the first example on your sheet. Oops, I didn't uh, want to undo this. I'll go back here. I don't want to put that on a new page. There we go. All right. So we're graphing this inequality. We don't have y equals or y by itself on the left-hand side. So in order to get y by itself on the left-hand side, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And when I do that, I get y is less than or equal to, and I'm going to write this as minus 3x plus 5, so it's in the, in the way that we normally think about it. And because we have less than or equal to, I'm going to use a solid line. And I'm going to shade below, because it's less than. 
So let's graph that line. I'll graph it in blue here. Um, Y-intercept is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the slope is negative 3. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And I'm going to graph a solid line there between those two points. Oops, that was not a very good graph. That's a little better. Still, I'll redo that and make sure. I'm having a hard time with my graphing ability there. There, that's better. There's my line. And because we have a less than or equal to, I'm going to shade below the line. And what that means is any point over here in the shaded part is going to work in that inequality. Any point in the shaded area is a solution to the inequality. Yes? Uh, did it all multiply so it's divide and multiply by negative to count above it? Yes. So we could check our answer if we wanted. Pick any point in the shaded area. I'm going to pick an easy one. Here's an easy one here. 0, 0 is in the shaded area. So we're going to try 0, 0. Is 0, I'm plugging that in for y, less than or equal to negative 3 times 0 plus 5? So is 0 less than or equal to 0 plus 5 is 5? Yes. So that means this point is a solution to that inequality. And we could pick any point over here in the shaded area, and it would be a solution. All right, questions there? OK, let's look at another one. Have to do a little more work on this one. Um, and let me look at this. Did I? I'm going to delete that page. Yes. OK, so this is the next one on your sheet. Uh, close that. This one I do want to put on a new page. There we go. So there's the next example on your sheet. Here we have a little more work to do because we don't have y by itself on the left, and there's a number in front of the y. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add 3x to both sides. And when I do that, I get negative 4y is greater than, I'm going to write it as 3x minus 12. Negative 12 plus 3x is the same as 3x minus 12. And now, I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. I have to divide everything. Yes? Why did you add here instead of That's a good question. I was doing that to make sure you were paying attention. So I'm going to write it as negative 3x minus 12. Still going to divide everything by negative 4, but what do I have to do now? I need to change the arrow. And I'm going to get y is less than negative 3 divided by negative 4. The negative divided by negative is positive. 3 fourths x. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is positive 3. So my equation with y by itself, or my inequality with y by itself, is y is less than 3 fourths x plus 3. We're going to have a dotted line because it's less than, not less than or equal to. And I'm going to shade 
below because it's less than. So let's graph this thing. My y-intercept is 3. There's 1, 2, 3. The slope is 3 fourths. So up 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to shade it in a dotted line. I'm going to graph it in a dotted line, like so. So you can make your dotted line just by going like this. So there's our dotted line, and we're going to shade below. And any point that's in the shaded region should be a solution to this inequality. We could test. 0, 0 is a nice one to test. That's an easy one to test. So I'm going to check my work. I'm going to try 0, 0, because it's in the shaded area. Is 0 less than 3 fourths times 0 plus 3? So we want to know is 0 less than 3 fourths times 0 is 0. Is 0 less than 3? Uh, yeah. Yes. So we've done our graph right. We've got our region, our solution in the right place. If you test this and it doesn't work, that tells you you've done something wrong with your graph. there. Now the next two are more of a, we're going to graph the inequalities, but they're also a reminder about vertical and horizontal lines. So let's look at the next one. Whoops. This. Okay. Now we're going to All right, so x is greater than 1. So we don't have a y at all. So I'm thinking, I think about x equals 1. Do you remember what kind of line x equals 1 is? Yes. Vertical line going through the point x equals 1. So this is vertical. Because we have greater than, not greater than or equal, it's going to be a dotted line. So I'm going to make a dotted line right along there through x equals 1. There's my line. And it says x is greater than 1. So am I going to shade, in this case, to the right or to the left? To the right. We're going to go to the right. The number, everything is bigger than 1. So I'm going to shade this way. And I can test a point here. Here's the point 5, 0. Is 5 greater than 1? Yes. Yes. So that tells me I've done my shading in the right direction. All right, so this is the last one. Y is less than or equal to 2. I'm going to think about y equals 2. What kind of line is that? Horizontal. That's a horizontal line. So I'm going to graph a horizontal line at y equals 2. Whoops. I messed up there. We want a solid line.
because we have less than or equal to. So let me graph my solid line. There it is. At y equals 2. There we go. And this is y is great, less than or equal to 2. So are we going to shade above or below? Shade below. So there would be my graph of that inequality. And I can test my point here. What's, what's the y value on the x-axis? Zero. Is zero less than two? Yes. So I've done my shading the correct way. All right, questions? All right, now we know all about graphing inequalities. Our homework, and we have uh, a fair amount of time to work here.